So oh, hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again and today I would like to do another microscope video again, microscope review video that is. Look at this what I've got here. This is a microscope of course and actually one that's yeah, not quite light but also not uh, very heavy either. So just right in the middle somewhere and I consider it a pretty good uh, microscope uh, to get started uh, in amateur microscopy but also uh, for those uh, if you're a teacher for example and if you uh, are interested in buying microscopes for educational use I think it's also a very good educational microscope because it's still solid but it's still light enough for students uh, to carry it around. Um, and what I'm going to do today is I'm not only going to unpack the microscope with you but I'm also going to look at the different parts and then later on uh, I'm also going to show you um, how some of the specimens look like when you look through the microscope. I have actually no hesitations in recommending this specific model. It's a solid device uh, and I myself am going to use it of course as well for making videos uh, for this uh, YouTube channel. I already know this uh, specific model because uh, we're using this also in school for um, educational purposes. Yeah, and this is how it looks like. Everything comes nicely packaged here. Uh, we've got in school, we've got the monocular version, so only with one eyepiece, but this one here allows you also to connect uh, a camera to the photo tube that it has. So now let's have a look um, at the different parts uh, of the microscope. Well, this microscope here comes with four um, objectives uh, installed, um, a 4 times 10 times 40 times and a 100 times oil immersion objective. And these are standard 160 millimeter standard objectives. So this means uh, that uh, they are readily available. And if you want to, you can even buy replacement objectives like I've got one over here this is a 60 times objective and if I would like uh, to change the magnification around um, then I can simply uh, exchange those objectives and take one of them out and to replace it with another one. Um, as a matter of fact from this uh, objective series there are six of them available so um, the 60 times and the 20 times magnifying objective can also be bought and can also be uh, inserted here. Um, so that's uh, basically uh, the objective uh, then in this model here has a, is a trinocular, is it the trinocular version? So there are yeah, two eyepieces to look through. That's uh, you can change the eye distance by yeah, moving it up and down like this. And there is also a photo tube here um, to attach a camera. Now this model also comes only with binocular without photo tube. Um, basically many of the things that I'm going to talk about will also apply to the other models. Um, it is an LED microscope. Um, so this means that uh, when I switch it on here, um, it can be it's battery operated, but you can also connect uh, an, an external power source. And if I turn it around here, there is yeah a light intensity regulator here as well. Yeah, so you can regulate the light intensity and the main switch of the microscope can be found here on the back side. And here, this is the place where you the power. Um, adapter can be um, in, plugged in. So uh, the, the microscope uh, of course uh, also has a coarse uh, and a fine uh, focus knob that's uh, pretty much uh, standard these days in compound microscopes anyway. It has also a mechanical stage uh, which allows you to move the specimen slider into the X and the Y direction and of course also a condenser uh, which uh, can be opened and closed by uh, moving the condenser aperture diaphragm here and the condenser can also be raised and lowered by turning this uh, wheel here. Um, yeah and that's pretty much uh, already almost everything. Ah there's one thing I almost forgot. Um, it's a little bit uh, also something. If you loosen up the screw here then you can flip it around and you can use the microscope uh, in this orientation if you want to do it like that. I usually always keep it like this. That's my preferred way of using the microscope. The 40 times and the 100 times oil immersion objective, but also the 60 times uh, objective, uh, they are spring, they are spring loaded, and this means that the front part, and I'm just going to show you here, the front part of the objective can retract, can be pushed in. Okay, that's called a. Uh, spring loading and this is a, a safety mechanism so this basically means that uh, when you lower the objective too much so that there is the danger of it crashing into the slide then the um, front part of the objective and the slide won't be damaged because the objective front lens will be pushed in like this. Yeah, so this is a, a safety mechanism that can be found uh, um, yeah, on, on many educational microscopes but also amateur microscopes and it's a, quite a nice feature to have.
the left eyepiece uh, in the binocular and in the trinocular version has so-called diopter adjustment. This means that I can turn the eyepiece in and out and uh, this allows me to adjust for different eyesight. When uh, you're using glasses to look through the microscope you just keep it set at zero but in my case my two eyes are a little bit different and if I take my glasses off I have to um, adjust for the different vision and that's uh, something that I can do here. Um, and that's actually quite important because uh, otherwise uh, if it's not adjusted then I might get a double picture. Um, so this is uh, quite good to have as well and allows me to use the microscope without glasses. Yeah and in case you're wondering what this screw here does, um, it limits uh, the highest position of the stage. So this is also a protective mechanism to prevent uh, the lens, the objective lens from crashing into the slide because uh, this screw here then will block the stage and it's not possible to turn it up even further. And beneath the stage there is of course uh, also the swing out uh, filter holder and uh, this is the place uh, where you can put in different filters and I later on will put in a so called a dark field patch stop. Yeah and that's the camera. It uh, can be connected of course uh, to the photo tube. It's a USB camera um, and uh, of course uh, you can also connect it uh, if you want to to one of the eyepieces. So that's uh, the USB cable which connects directly to my computer um, and uh, it's also possible of course to connect it uh, in place of one of the eyepieces works uh, just uh, just the same. Yeah so um, let's uh, collect uh, a few uh, tardigrades here um, and uh, I'm preparing the specimen sample right now and uh, it goes under the microscope. Uh, you've already seen this so many times from my other videos that I made. Um, light is turned on and now I'm gonna check uh, what I can see directly on my laptop here. Yeah, and you can already see a few things uh, floating around here. I don't know what that is really. Yeah, here, that's a rotifer and some kind of a ciliate. Yeah, and uh, now it's possible to take pictures uh, and also to take videos. Uh, so for example, here I selected this uh, rectangular part uh, and then I simply pushed the uh, shutter uh, in the software and uh, this is basically how I captured the image. So you can see that there is the frame that I'm moving around um, and uh, by resizing the frame and uh, drawing it around the object that I want to take a picture I can simply snap a picture and, and here it is again. And so it's uh, yeah here here it is. So it, it works uh, very conveniently. Uh, look at this. Uh, what are these two things? Well one or two. Um, these are that's a dividing ciliate uh, and I was following this uh, along uh, for several minutes and uh, the connection between those two cells grew thinner and thinner and thinner until after, um, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes or so uh, they completely separated. So this is cell division. And uh, I observed this uh, also with uh, at a total ma magnification of around 100 times. So now they separated. So I'm quite fascinated that I was able to see this. I think uh, that should be enough for today. Do leave your comments behind uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.